Hi bro, my name is um, my name is Renan. So I work as a DevOps engineer at a company called Flypay. Uh, so today I'm here to talk about how we can bring um, artificial intelligence and DevOps together. So let's see how they can work together. Yeah. And you see that I'm gonna have to explain things very briefly because there's a lot of things to cover and not a lot not a lot of time. Um, but if you have any questions, so we can definitely talk after the, the event, or you can find me on social network. You, you might contact details will be on the slides, and then we, we can discuss more about it. So let's go over the agenda for today. It's a very simple agenda, so we have, we're gonna have a problem, and then the solution, we'll see how we can introduce voice commands into continuous deployment pipelines, and then we're gonna have a demo as a last step. So, okay, so let's begin with the problem. So let's suppose that you need to deploy a quick fix to your product or you need to roll back your software to the previous version because something is broken on production. Uh, it might be the case that you don't have your laptop with you, it might be miles away from you, or there might be loads of steps they need to take in order to deploy your software or roll it back. So for example, if you use a continuous deployment to you might need to log into your Mac, log into uh, open up Chrome, or log into your continuous delivery tool. And all of these steps, it might take a while, but we want to be faster, right? So what's going to be the solution for us? It's going to be to bring voice commands into our pipelines. And for that, we're going to use Alexa, which I'm sure everyone here heard about it once at least. Yep. Uh, but before the demo, uh, I'm gonna, just going to explain how is the deployment workflow that we're going to work with. So first you have your laptop, of course. You're going to commit co code, which is going to go to GitHub. And then GitHub is going to notify Jenkins that your code has been pushed. And then Jenkins is going to run the test and do whatever it needs to do, validation, com compile. And then it's going to build a Docker image, which is going to be pushed to uh, private registry. So in this case, I'm using Amazon ECR, but you can use any registry that you want. And then after that, you're going to say the magic words to Alexa, and Alexa will talk to the Alexa service, so we're going to see what that is. And the Alexa service will talk to <coughs> Amazon Lambda. Lambda will trigger the build on Jenkins, and then Jenkins is going to deploy to Kubernetes. It seems complicated, but it's actually not, so let's see how that works. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is to show you the code that we're going to deploy to Lambda. So I wrote this in Node.js, but you could have written in any language that Lambda supports. So here, what I'm basically doing, I'm just starting by initializing an object of Alexa. So I'm using the Alexa SDK, I, I, as you can see here at the top. And then another important bit is the handlers. So let's see what a handler is. So if you go to models, handlers. So here in handlers, you're gonna, um, you're gonna define a lot of functions. So the first one is called launch request. So whatever you define here is what's gonna be executed when you say the name of your skill to Alexa. So in my case, the name of my skill is Jenkins. So when I say Alexa Jenkins, she's gonna, she's gonna execute this method. So let, let's see how, how, that's gonna, how that's gonna work. Alexa, Jenkins. Welcome to the Jenkins automation system. Just tell me what to do and I will make it happen. Yep. So, yeah, this first method was executed. So with this, this dot emit tell, whatever you put here, Alexa is gonna say for you. Yeah. Let me mute it, otherwise it's gonna, okay, cool. And then we have this method called deploy guestbook prod intent. So with this one, this is what's actually gonna deploy uh, your product to Kubernetes. So the way it's gonna work, I'm gonna say to Alexa to deploy the, my product, and then she's gonna confirm with me just to make sure that that's what I want to do. And at that case, she's gonna expect me to say either yes or no. If I say yes, then this method is gonna be executed. So you have this yes intent. And if I say no, then no intent is gonna be executed. So if yes is said, then you see that I'm calling the method back, which I called previously, which in, the ca in this case is uh, to deploy guestbook prod intent. And then the else bit was gonna be executed. And in the else bit, I'm gonna deploy to Jenkins. Yeah. 
And the same thing applies for the rollback method. So it's the same logic, but it's just different jobs that's going to call on Jenkins. Right, so after you, you've got your function, so you need to configure Amazon, Amazon Lambda. Let's see if my internet was working because before I was having a little bit of trouble. So if I click here. So the important bit when you, when you <coughs> configure your Lambda function is to add a trigger, which is a Lexis kill kit trigger. Yeah, so that's the important bit. Uh, as soon as you configure this and then you deploy your code, then in theory, that should be it, nothing else. And then, after that's done, you will need to log into developer.amazon.com. Let's see if that's going to take a while. Okay. So if you go to sign in, So if that doesn't work, you're going to have to do the plan B. Come on, internet. I think I'm going to have to yeah, switch because the internet is not helping. Yeah, let's quickly do it. Oh, hold on. One more try. Okay, yeah. If that doesn't work, then I'll switch. Okay, so basically in this developer portal, you're going to configure everything that you need to do uh, in order for your function to, uh, to work. So here, basically, you're going to define the name of your skill. You're going to define three things which, which are called intent, slots, and utterances. So let me just go there. So here you see you have Alexa. Let's click on that. It would be help if it was fast. Okay, so let me explain what an intent is first while this loads. So an intent is basically the way you map the name of a method with um, with some variables. Yeah. So there you see that I I defined a few methods. So in this case, I defined uh, four methods, which is deploy, rollback, and Amazon yes intent and no intent. So basically there, what you're going to say, let's see, okay. Right, so you click on Alexa. And then you have Alexa skills. Let's click on get started. If you don't have any skill yet, you're just going to click on add new skill. But in my case, I've already created one. So in this case, it's called Jenkins. So here. So the first page, you're going to define the name of your skill as well as the invocation name. So the invocation name is whatever you uh, say to Alexa. And then in the second page, you have the intents. So here you define which method you created on your code. And then you also have something called slots. So slots is like an option. So let's say that you need to deploy your product to either production, staging, or let's say sandbox. So these three, there are an environment. So here you could say, right, so someone's going to say deploy this to an environment, and the environment could be production, staging, or sandbox. So th these are the slots, so these are the options that you can configure. So here I just have one environment, so that's why I didn't configure any, any slot. And then the last one is called utterances. So the utterances is where you define what, what, what the sentence is going to be like. So here you ha we have a few, actually. So for example, deploy the guestbook application to production. That's going to execute the deploy guestbook prod intent. And in the same way, you have also the rollback sentences. So let's say rollback the guestbook application on production, which is going to execute this function here. Yeah, so that's an utterance. <coughs> And then the final bit is the configuration, where you tell Alexa where your Lambda function is, it, what's the ID of your Lambda function. So uh, here you just specify either North America or Europe, and then you paste your um, Lambda function ID. And that's pretty much it. After you, yeah, after you do all of that, and here is enabled, this means that my skills is my skill is already installed my Alexa, and I'm ready to go. Perfect. 
So next, so I'm going to log into Jenkins. And we'll see if that's going to work. Cool. So here you see that we have three jobs. So to build, deploy, and roll back. So let's see if we can deploy it. Alexa, ask Jenkins to deploy the Gasbook application to production. Just to make sure, you want me to deploy the Gasbook application to production, right? Please answer yes or no. Yes. Okay. The Gasbook application has just been deployed to production. Then you can see that the Jenkins job has been triggered. And if we come to Kubernetes, Yeah, so you have here 10 seconds ago, so you just deployed. And this is the application, so currently we have this interface, and then if you re reload, yeah. Um, yeah, so there it was just cache. <laughs> so there it is. So I, I've just changed the, the string, so now instead of guestbook is hello docslon. And what we're going to do now is to roll back to the previous version where it said guestbook instead of hello docsalon. So let's try that. Alexa, ask Jenkins to roll back the guestbook application on production. Do you really want me to roll back the guestbook application on production? Yes. No problem at all. The guestbook application has just been rolled back to the previous version on production. Cool. So the job is there. It's going to run. And then if you come back to Kubernetes, a new version is going to come up. And after a few seconds, if we come back and reload the page, yeah, so it's rolled back to the previous version. Um, so yeah, that, that was a demo.